everyone, this is Janice on my JL Blogger channel and today I'm going to show you how to update to iOS 5 and fix that 3194 error that you get on iTunes. Now beforehand this will only work for people that have used Tiny Umbrella before trying to update to iOS 5. And what Tiny Umbrella is is pretty much a, a software that you have you could download and it saves your your SHSH file that you get to bypass Apple's little verification thing. I don't know what it's called, but anyways, if you use Tiny Umbrella before doing before trying to update, this will probably most likely help you in getting an iOS 5. So what I've gone ahead and did was I've opened up iTunes and I'm trying to update to iOS 5. And this clip is showing how it's going to get that error. So yeah, right now it's backing up with my phone. And now it's extracting the software because I already downloaded iOS 5 to iTunes beforehand. Now you can see it's trying to verify with Apple and it won't go through, so now I got that 3194 error. And that's because there's a thing in Tiny Umbrella which I have to fix, and I'll go ahead and show you guys. So, what you're wanting to do is going to close out iTunes and then go to your Tiny Umbrella app if you still haven't installed. And you can see it's opening up. Pretty much pass all this stuff OK, OK. And now go to your Advanced tab and three boxes down you're going to uncheck that. And what that does is it pretty much edits your host and not... it edits your host file and tells it not to send it to Cydia anymore. Because when you're using Tiny Umbrella, it sends your your verification thing through Cydia to trick Apple into so like when you're trying to downgrade your your firmware, that's what you do. But pretty much it's changing the host file. So you could so it could go back to verifying with Apple, if that makes any sense. So after you're done doing the Tiny Umbrella thing, you have to restart your computer else this will not work. So anyways, I already restarted my computer and I've already had iTunes opening up. I'm going through that same process again, updating, continue, pretty much just trying to get this started into updating to iOS 5. As you can see, it's starting to sync up now. And back, it's, it's going to be backing up my phone. There you go. Now it's backing up my phone. So I've skipped ahead a little bit through the backing up part. Now it's going to start extracting the software again. And I'll cut forward a little bit faster through that too. It's starting to finish up. So now it's verifying with iPhone. And as you can tell, it's actually working this time since I fixed that host host file problem but just by unchecking that box. Now it's preparing my phone for restore. And like I said earlier, this will only work if you use Tiny Umbrella software or any type of third-party software that edits your host file. So pretty much, any, pretty much what the 3194 error is fixing or is trying to tell you to fix is the host file. There's something wrong with the host file or either you have something wrong with your firewall, maybe like a virus program that you have that's stopping it. It's pretty much like a security thing. So anyways, as you can see, it's done, it's done installing iOS 5. Now it's rebooting. I kind of try to fast forward through some parts and I cut out a lot of parts just to show you that it's like installing. 
because it was kind of a really long process just in, just for installing iOS 5 on my iPhone. On my iPad it, it had no problem, but my iPhone, I don't know why, I was having a lot of issues. So right now it's restoring my backup onto my iPhone so I can have my contacts and pictures and all that stuff. So now you can see I actually have iOS 5 installed. And my phone is still rebooting, so. I'm just showing what it looks like right when you are done installing iOS 5 it goes through a bunch of settings telling you about iCloud telling you about all these settings all types of new stuff and obviously you don't have to pick all the settings that I put you can put whatever you feel like but yeah so here we go we're gonna start using iPhone and there we go I officially have iOS 5 installed I'm gonna go ahead and show you on my little setting thing. Now before doing this video I actually had my phone jailbroken so I lost my jailbreak while doing this video but that's okay. But as you see it is at iOS 5 and I hope this video helps one of you guys at least and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and tell me what you if it didn't help you tell me what problems you ran into because I'm curious if this works, if this just worked for me and I'm, I just thought it worked for everyone or what's going on. But anyways, don't forget to comment and subscribe and like this video, guys. It would help a lot. Thank you.